Good day everyone. My name is Wendra Alaria Mika from Bachelor of Science in Nursing course and now I'm going to discuss to you mathematics in nature. Did you know that math is all around us? From flowers to pine cones and even in seashells? Nature has its own patterns and designs and one of the key tools it uses is something called the Fibonacci sequence along with the golden ratio. Before going to our discussion, we're going to find objectives for today. So our objective for today is to identify Fibonacci sequence in nature, determine the end term of a Fibonacci sequence, and lastly, use golden ratio in appreciating mathematics in human anatomy and photography. But before that, I have preferred a simple activity. We're just going to identify what is what flower it is, and how many petals it has. So do you know what type of flower it is? This flower is Trillium, a three-petal flower. Next, this is a five-petal flower called Oxalis stricta. Next one is eight-petal flower called Cosmos flower. This flower is called corn marigold with 13 petals. And lastly, this is a 21 petal flower called aster flower. Have you noticed that the number of petals is like a sequence? Like 3, 5, 8, 13, and 21. So this sequence is part of a sequence called a Fibonacci sequence. So what is a Fibonacci sequence? This sequence was introduced to the world by Leonardo of Pisa, also known as Fibonacci, an Italian mathematician from the 13th century. He originally used it to describe how rabbit population grow under ideal conditions. How does Fibonacci sequence works? So the Fibonacci sequence works using this formula. Fn is equals to Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2, where Fn is the Fibonacci number, then Fn minus 1 is the previous term, then Fn minus 2 is the term before Fn minus 1. So in simple term, um, to get the Fibonacci number, we're just going to add the two previous terms. For example, let's find the ninth term in the Fibonacci sequence. To find it, we're just going to add the two previous terms, which is 7 and 8, which has the value of 13 and 21. Then we're just going to add them, then we'll get a 34. Next is, let's find the 10th term in the Fibonacci sequence. So, to find it, we're just going to add the value of F9 plus F8, which is 34 and 21. Add them, then we get... 55 then that is the 10th term in the Fibonacci sequence so for more examples I have prepared a simple activity here so let's find the 11 to 15 term in the Fibonacci sequence so to find the 11th term we're just going to add 9 and 10 which has the value of 34 and 55 then we're going to add them we get 89 we're going to add now the 89 plus 55 to get the 12th term which is 144 and now we're going to add 89 plus 144 to get the 13th term 233 then we're just going to add the 12th term and 13th term to get 377 and lastly for the 15th term we're just going to add 233 plus 377 and the 15th term is 610 so the Fibonacci sequence can be found in nature like in the succulent plant, in the sunflower seed, and even on pine cones. We're also going to discuss the golden ratio. So what is the golden ratio? The golden ratio is a special number which is approximately equal to 1.618034 and may be used to find the end term of a Fibonacci sequence using the Binet's formula. So this is the Binet's formula. The golden ratio shows up when you divide the Fibonacci number by the one before it. For example, 
23 divided by 13 is about 1.618. 1. So, the golden ratio can be found in nature like in the Mona Lisa painting, and the Nautilus shell, and also in the pyramids. So, I hope you learned something today. Thank you for listening.